Now let's see how we should handle dividing with a mixed number. 3 and 1 fifth divided by 4 sevenths. First, just like in multiplication, we need to convert 3 and 1 fifth into an improper fraction. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. So we have 16 fifths. We also need to take the reciprocal of 4 sevenths to rewrite the division as multiplication. Now we just need to reduce and multiply 16 fifths times 7 fourths. 16 and 4 are both divisible by 4, so if we cancel the 4 out, there's still a 4 left over in the numerator, because 16 is 4 times 4. There's nothing else to reduce, so we multiply 4 times 7 in the numerator and have only a 5 left in the denominator. 4 times 7 is 28, so our answer is 28 fifths, which equals 5 and 3 fifths. Finally, let's consider a problem with three parts. 8 twenty-firsts divided by 5 sixths times 5 halves. Be careful to follow the proper order of operations here by working from left to right. We have to deal with the division before we can multiply. To divide, we take the reciprocal of 5 sixths and rewrite the problem as 8 twenty-firsts times 6 fifths times 5 halves. Notice the reciprocal of 5 sixths is 6 fifths. We flipped it. Now, since all three fractions are being multiplied, we can reduce. 6 and 21 are both divisible by 3, so when we reduce the 3 over 3 out, there is a 2 left from the 6, because it was 2 times 3, and a 7 left from the 21, because it was 7 times 3. Next, we can cancel the 2's out. And finally, we can also reduce the 5's. Now we can identify the factors that are left. 8 in the numerator and 7 in the denominator. We can see now that our answer is 8 sevenths, which equals 1 and 1 seventh.